Hey, Sophie King John back again in the kitchen of dreams with yet another attempt of a Italian lager review. The one I'm going to review just now is one that's invaded me for quite a while, and it's the Angelino Barretti. The Beer Italia, the, the, prim, the Premium Italia Lager. 4.8 in a Richter scale. Uh, I've seen this one in Tesco, out of the big bombers, I haven't reviewed it. Oh, we smart crown on it. And I thought I'd have to get it. So stick it in the old Carlsberg glass uh, because it is brewed under what? Brewed for the UK uh, by Carlsberg. I think Carlsberg bought these guys out. So that's how we're getting these Italian laggers, uh, to be honest with you. Right, so look at that. That looks a treat in that glass. That's one of my best purchases, that glass, that Carlsberg glass. I've got to admit that. That is one of my best purchases off Amazon. Look at that. 4.8 life in that. That is fantastic. So anyway, let's go in for a nose. See what the Bira Italia Angelina Poretti. Sounds like a guy that some Serie B player that signed for a Scottish side in the 1990s. I'm not really getting much off a nose to be honest. I've got a rather thick head and it looks rather majestic in the glass, or magnifico, as the Italians would say. So anyway, let's go in for a taste, it's all about the taste, so anyway, so fucking drunk drinking an Angelino Paretti Premium Lager for a point eight on the regular scale. Sanjiva, or Salou, is that what they say? Cheers. Well, the first thing I'm getting from that is very creamy. Creamy? Yeah, very, very creamy. Uh, sort of nice, soft, creamy head. Lager comes through. Slight bread. A little bit of bitterness in the back end. I would hasten to say, I'm not very good with the hops, man. I would say that the SARS is always a safe bet to say. I think that's one of the sort of laggery hops that's kind of got that kind of bitter back head to it. The big question is, is it better than Peroni? Anything's better than Peroni. Peroni's got to be one of the worst Italian laggers ever. It's got a bitter uh, back edge to it, which I don't mind, but it's reminding me very, very much like Tenant's Lager of old. Tenant's Lager of old it used to have that gravelly pit taste, not the stuff you get now, well maybe some people might say it's still got it, but it used to have that gravelly pit that used to catch you at the back of the throat. This has got it. This is actually... It's better than Peroni, I'm going to say. But is it any better than any of the other Italian beers out there? Beer Amaretti? Beer Amaretti, I have sessioned the arse off Beer Amaretti, to be honest with you. And uh, it's it gets to a stage with Beer Amaretti, do you get bored of it? Would I get bored with this? I don't think I would session the arse off it for a start. I think maybe I would have maybe a couple of those. I had a wee cheeky rum or something on the side, um, just to nurse it down. It's got that gravelly pit thing going for it, and I'm not really a fan, uh, to be honest. But it has got a sort of almost like a 75% malt backbone, if that makes any sense. Decent, got to admit. I wonder if it's on its own stomping ground in uh, Italy, or would it be 5%? It probably would be. I think a lot of these beers lose a bit. As soon as they start messing about with the Richter skills, these beers kind of are not great. If you went to Italy and you probably saw this, maybe 5, 5.2, you'd probably think it was a stonking pint, a really, really nice pint. Uh, is it one on a return to? 
I would knock it back. Uh, be honest with you, I don't think I'd buy it again, but if I went somewhere, sort and draft, I'd try it and draft, and if I went in someone's house and they said, bottle of beer for you and give me an Angel Angelino Barretti, I'd drink it. I would, it's not offensive, but it's not great either. Uh, so anyway, the Angelino Barretti. Carlsberg, the big boys, and again. See what you want about them and InBev. Carlsberg and InBev and Heineken and all these guys. Like, well, that's, it's Heineken and InBev, isn't it? I think it is, no, whatever it is anyway. See what you want about these guys. Uh, a lot of people don't like them. Uh, but, to be honest with you, they do. There's, you do get to try beers from all over the world. It might not be the Richter scale that's getting sold at in their part of the world, but be honest with you, over the last 10, 15 years since I, 10 years anyway, well, 10 a bit of years I've been beer reviewing, I've tried some beers from uh, places all over the world that I used to have to go and visit them to try the beer, now you can go down your local shop or go online and buy them, uh, and it's because of these guys, they're promoting these breweries all over the world and fair play to them, you know what I mean, everybody, you got all these, well, keep it small and keep it this and Charge me nine pound a tin and I'll buy it. Some people are just. To be honest with you, beer is meant to be enjoyed by the masses, and uh, that's what these guys try to do. All right, they're coming in and they're cutting corners here and there with a lot of uh, a lot of beers, and I get that. I also get that. But to be, I also get that they're giving me chances to try things like that. Although that's probably brewed in the UK. I'm going to have a look at that actually. <laughs> See if it is. Brewed under licence. Uh, did it serve with four hops? Four hops? My god. I wonder if SARS has got to be one of them. Uh, do 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 Broody, Foothills. I don't know where that's at. Northern Italy it comes from its base. It's brewed in traditional Italian. Da -da -da -da. Food and bottle in the UK! I was faking right by Carlsberg Mal Marston's. Good old Wolverhampton, mate. Good old Wolverhampton. Wherever Wolverhampton is, that's down. But I mean, down that way, is it? Shit of geography. So um, I think it is. It's down that way anyway, isn't it? So anyway, Angelino Baretti, 4.8 in a Richter. I drink it again, yeah, so what am I going to give it? I'm going to give that a Sophie King drunk rate, no, I'm going to give that a 6.9 out of 10. 6.9 out of 10 for Angelino Pretty. So if you've had it before, you liked it, you didn't like it, you know, skip, drop a line below. And, hopefully, Sophie King drunk will so it's you for staying at the end of the video. And hopefully we will catch you in another Lager review. It's Lager weather out there. Slangy Var, keep drinking the good laggers out there. Chow for me.